Hi crafty friends, it's me Mary and I'm coming at you with another Tuesday morning haul today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and if you have not already, please subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I got are some 6x6 paper pads. This one I got some brights. Just a quick flip through. Such pretty colors. And then I picked up this glitter pack, which I love. It's got the best colors of the glitter paper, some unusual ones. Then I picked up this everyday pad. And then this cool kid pad, which I really, really love. This one's by um, Crate Paper. And this is so cute because if you read some of these, it's like, um, boy, a noise with dirt on it. Or crash, common violent collisions, adventure where trouble is found, play all day, every day, grow too fast. There are so many cute little definitions here. I just love it. There's only one of those definition pages too, so I'll have to be careful with that one. And then here's, that's my boy. I have two boys, a three-year-old and a 17-year-old, so I'm always looking for boy paper. Rocket ships, which I just adore. Oh, I love these little game controllers. And then last but not least for the 6x6 paper pads, I have this made from scratch. love this one with all the spices on it so that's it for my six by six paper pads we'll just set those aside right over here and then I picked up this happy jig wire I'm still in search of the happy jig so I have got a six pack of colored wire I have now got some gold wire and you will see a little bit later that I also have some silver wire, but I have yet to find the happy jig. So the search or the hunt is on. I got a lot of the wild heart stickers. They're front and back and I love the holographic. Got this pink paisley, c'est la vie. Crate paper here and there. They come with eight envelopes. Tickets and receipts. It doesn't really show you much. I'd have to take them out of the package. But here they are on the back. Then I thought these were really cool. Um, Studio Calico and they're called Confetti and Cards. And you get all of these. And then here's some wild heart ephemera and I really loved these I actually picked up two and I rarely do that rarely pick up two my sister won't believe this but I like to leave some goodies for the other people too <laughs> and here's my second one and then I got one 12 by 12 paper and it's called Wildflower. And I haven't seen this one before. I don't know if I'm just um, really with my head in the dirt or my head in the sand or what's going on. But American Crafts put out this really cute paper pad and I just haven't seen it. And I'm loving some of the papers. Um, I'll go ahead and do a flip through of this one at the end if you want to see that. And then here's some more Wild Heart. This is the chipboard piece. 
I love elephants especially ones with their trunks in the air but this one doesn't have that but still cute and I got two of these um, boxes you know the big boxes for $3.99 And then in there I had some Halloween stickers that I picked up. These are the thickers. And these are the pink paisley spellcast ones. This one has some on both sides. Love the black cat. And then I did pick up one more 12 by 12 paper pad it looks like. Let me see if I can get it out of here. It's the Pebbles. Spooky Boo, which I know a lot of people have hauled before, and if you want to see this, I'll go ahead and do a flip through at the end. Then I picked up these letters by Heidi Swap, sort of a grayish tint to them. I actually got two of those, so I would have enough letters. <laughs> Then I got this beautiful night trick or treat pack, dimensional stickers. I had to pick these up, these Alice in Wonderland stickers. I love this rabbit with the clock. He's so cute in the Mad Hatter. I just, I don't know, something about this movie just reminds me of fun and whimsy and I'll have to find a place to use these stickers because I really do love them. And then some Spellcast stickers. And the Hayride stickers. I thought these were so cute by Jolie's. Then I have a couple other things here from Tuesday morning. I have the Heidi Swap Ephemera. Comes with some acetate pieces, some flamingos and palms. So pretty. And here's that silver wire I'm talking about. That happy jig is so elusive. And then the Maggie Holmes Puffy Hearts. And I got the last stamp set that I needed from Maggie Holmes. So I have the whole collection now, I believe. <laughs> Who knows, there might be more. <laughs> and then I picked up this Pebble set that I've seen a lot of people haul. It's um, a recipe card. And I actually got the recipe stamp in another haul. So this was really cute for $5.99. And then I actually went to Marshall's and picked up a couple Ray Dunn items, if you're interested in that. I have these Ignite matches, which I love, and it comes with the, the striker pad right here on the jar, and they were $4.99. I didn't think that was bad. And then this home candle. It's vanilla, and trust me, it smells so good. <laughs> Then I got two little satchels. One says stash, and it has this little um, tassel on the end. I love it. You can put just about anything in there, but it's like a little purse, I guess, but I'm gonna use it for scrapbooking stuff. And here's the other one that says stuff, <laughs> and it has the pink tassel on it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and run through those paper pads that I showed you earlier. That was my haul for today. Um, if you don't want to stay around for the paper pads, see you later. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. But if you want to see the paper pads, here we go. We got this cut apart sheet. The spider webs. Oh, the cute little family. These bats with the glitter. Skeletons. And I'm just not big on skeletons and skulls. That's the only Halloween thing that I really don't like. But, you know, I really love the rest of the paper pad. Little black kitty cats. Candies. Stripes. Spider webs and spiders. And then we're back to the cut aparts again. Um, actually, no, these are different ones. They include a lot of like glittery parts to them too. And then we have some flowers, 
some orange spider webs, eek, spooky, some um, bats that don't have glitter on them, and the glitter polka dots, which are cute. White and orange pumpkins, some plaid, ghosts, ooh, I love this one, the orange with the black glitter polka dots, leaves, love this one too, that's really pretty. And then we're back to the front again. So that's it for that one, the Spooky Boo paper pad. And then here we have the Wildflower paper pad, which like I said, my head might have been in the sand on this one, but I am just in love with this paper pad. It has the big houses on the front one. Sort of like a yellowish orange, sunshiny page. And here's the cut aparts. This one's a really pretty like ombre type of paper, pink, a nice blue. I love all the constellations on this one. A yellow ombre, some beautiful flowers, you could fusty cut those out. A pink ombre. I love these ferns. And these flowers are pretty too, the navy. A green stripe. Love this page. Anything rainbow is up my alley. This is sort of like an Aztec type of print. And now this is one of my favorite pages right here. I don't know what it is about this page, but these blues just really get me. Sort of like a graph type of paper. And then another blue page, which is really pretty. Some yellow. And these butterflies are so good to cut out. And then a wordy page. Another orangey print, a green sort of ombre. I know that's hard to see with this lighting. Some cut aparts. And we're back to the houses again in the front. So that was it for the Wildflower paper pad. This one was only $4.99 too, so what a deal. Anyway, that was my Tuesday morning in Marshall's Hall for today. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This is Mary, signing out. See you later, crafty friends.